Yesterday I took a picture of my Dihiro portfolio. It dropped from this to this. So it is time now to feel frustrated. A couple of months ago I made a video about gaining 700 euros with my Dihiro portfolio and it has actually now come down with 400 euros in less than a month but actually it's been going up and going down uh, and it's been hovering in between a thousand and fourteen hundred euros. And if you're new to market investing and you've never experienced something like this before, a drop like this before, this is actually a correction that's happening. It's happening often. It is not that pleasant to see or to deal with. Even me, I've been through one before. I've been through the 2020 COVID crash or COVID correction and they are never easy to deal with. Probably what happened was one morning you woke up and you had a really lovely breakfast. You drank some tea. up your laptop, went on to your broker account only to scream what? Yes, it just dropped 400 euros. Here, just look at it again. What? Get ah! away from me. I think I have Lipstick on my teeth? Oh no. Ah, yeah. And those feelings are real. They weren't different than those that I had when the pandemic just first hit and I had put a big part of my savings into the market and I went through the exact same feelings. You're probably doing a less than amazing job right now trying to save the best or as much as you can to put into investment accounts or to put towards your broker portfolio and seeing your hard-earned savings drop with 400 euros is definitely not pleasant. I mean, you can do a lot with 400 euros. That's like my food budget for a month. I can buy a return flight to the Philippines with 400 euros. I can live for a month in Turkey. So there's only one remedy for that. Let's grab a cup of tea. shall we so the market is dropping my portfolio has dropped about 400 euros in value this is not an uncommon thing to happen the market goes up it goes down it is just part of how the system works and it's definitely not a reason to panic if but if you, you are panicking, that probably means you do not have an emergency fund or you are just like me. A couple of months ago, I was traveling through Bulgaria 
and the first drop happened and I didn't have much to do at that time besides looking at my portfolio all day long and I freaked out. It's a different uh, situation at the moment. I'm working full time now and I don't really have that much time to look at my portfolio all day long. So when I saw it, it didn't really surprise me that much. I also have a stable wage, so I know whatever job that's happening, I do not consider it very dangerous for me at all at this moment. And why is it not dangerous? Because I have an emergency fund. This is just my savings account and all the money that I have in my savings account, which is like a backup just in case that stuff like this happens, just in case I have an emergency and I need cash quickly, then I use that money that is not that volatile, um, that doesn't lose its value. It just stays in a savings account and I don't make any money on it, but it's good as a buffer just in case the market drops like it did right now. But here is the truth about big market drops and your portfolio. Unless you sell everything in your portfolio right now, you actually don't lose that money. Let me repeat that again. Unless you sell everything in your portfolio, then you don't lose... What I just said before I said, let me repeat that again. So you're not going to lose that money unless you sell everything right now. And if you really need money at the moment and you don't have an emergency fund, then you might have to sell everything and then you sell everything with that loss. But if you have an emergency savings account, which I highly recommend, and if you don't have one right now, you should start having or building one. Don't put all your money into investments. Make sure you have some cash on hand, just in case something like this happens. So you have a buffer and you don't have to sell your shares at a lower price than a couple of months before smart and here is another secret it'll eventually increase in value again eventually it will increase in value again it's just a matter of time then there is nothing better to do than have another cup of tea And just know that these things happen often, that these corrections happen often, they, they have happened before, they will happen again, it's not a big deal. So next time make sure you have that emergency fund so you are prepared. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has helped you with your path up to financial freedom. Bye my loves! Mwah. And by the way, if you haven't gotten a copy from my book yet, I highly recommend you get one. It's really good. Okay, bye now.